are at fourth grade. So today you should have seen an example of what your um, project should look like. Um, you're going to be drawing Frankenstein and you should also have a sheet of paper that has the steps to complete that drawing. I'm going to help you through those steps. So make sure you have them handy. First step we need to do is we need to draw the square head of Frankenstein in the middle top portion of our page, right about here. So all I'm going to do is draw, kind of like I'm drawing a square, but I'm not going to connect it. All right, now we need to make the curve portion, bottom portion of his head curved. So I'm going to connect these two lines with a curved line. And then for his hair, we're going to do a zigzag line across the top. And we definitely know how to do a zigzag line. Okay, next we need to add his face. So we're going to add the eyes. And I do not expect yours to look exactly like the example. Mine doesn't, but it definitely looks like it's based off it. Little curve right here for the nose. Straight line across for the top of the smile. Connect it with a curve. And then I will add a straight line for the teeth. So I'll give you a second to get those completed. Now he has these screws coming out well, kind of where his ears are. They kind of look like his ears. So I'm going to draw two little lines on either side right there and there and then I'm going to draw a little rectangle coming out of it okay for his back his back is kind of hunched over or his shoulders in his back so I'm going to make a big curve line around him and stop about there And then I'm going to need to make his shirt. So I'm going to add the sleeves. You can see I added them there and there, went over and up. And for the side of his body, a line going down. I think I'm going to make that go down just a bit more. And do a zigzag line across to connect them. And then, let's see, we need to add his legs and his feet, so two lines for this leg, two lines for this leg, make a curve for the top of that foot, and another curve for the top of that foot, straight line to connect them. I just need his arms coming out of his sleeves, so I'm going to do kind of a curved line going down. And that's going to be his hand. I'm going to have his little thumb sticking out. Connect the other side of the arm. So it'll look something like that. And I believe I forgot to add his stitches. I'll add the ground behind him just by adding a line. Now as always you can outline this in black marker and color it using any of the coloring materials at your paper. If you also feel like you want to add a little more to the drawing if you have time maybe he could be standing in front of a house or maybe there's the moon behind him or maybe he has um, a bunch of candy since it's Halloween, so feel free to add your own personal touch to this drawing.